Hey guys, if you have ever thought about using a cooling fan like this for your smartphone, you might have stumbled upon some cases which covers the phone from the back and uh, have these fans already installed inside them. But the thing about uh, the back fans, the back cover fans is if you use a phone with a back cover like this or a rubber bumper for your phones then these fans are pretty much useless the rubber and the thick plastic in in these cases act as an insulator so these fans cannot cool your phone properly so i've come up with a new design this one this design has a very unique advantage this fits on your phone like this on the front and the fan stays on top of your screen like this so the fan basically cools down the top surface of your screen that is this glass which helps dissipate the heat from a phone which has a rubber cover attached to it. Most of the phones nowadays also use the display to dissipate heat. You can see various tear down videos in which the back side of the display has a big aluminium radiator which dissipates the heat through the display into the environment. So the phones use their displays to cool themselves down but if you're gaming um, on your phone continuously for hours uh, like a game uh, PUBG and you know the matches in PUBG can last for nearly half an hour per match so the screen can get pretty hot and your thumbs can get sweaty while uh, playing the game so this fan actually cools down your thumbs your hands and your display all together let me show you how it runs as you can see it's running now and its air comes directly on the display and towards your hands and the angle is also adjustable so you can move the fan close to the screen or away from it or towards your hand anywhere you like this is how it looks from the top and from the back side So let me show you how I made it. First up, you'll need a fan like this. Uh, this is a 40 by 40 mm fan. These come in various voltage specifications. This one, as you can see, is a 12 volt model. This one also comes in 24 volts, uh, 9 volts, and uh, 5 volts too. So this one is the only one which I had. Second thing you'll need is a phone mount like this one this is a fairly common phone mount uh, which come, usually comes with uh, these kind of tripods for mobile phones this is an adjustable one you can clamp your phone inside it and you'll need some nuts and bolts like these the chair bolt uh, fits your fan you could use it Obviously, you'll need some 3D printed parts like this and maybe some spacers like these if your bolts are too long. You will need to power this fan up using a 12 volt DC adapter like this one with a barrel connector and for connecting this plug to the fan, you'll need to attach a female barrel connector to the fan like this and when you plug them in your fan will start working no need for any switches or anything extra let me show you on the computer what these parts look like when i designed them this is the 3d model of the fan mount that i designed in fusion 360 here's the 40 by 40 mm main fan here you can see the two wires that we will connect to a DC jack. The fan is mounted on these two legs using two bolts. 
these two bolts right here let me show you individual leg so this is what a single leg looks like this is angled at 60 degrees and can fully rotate on this axis both these legs are mounted on this main mount let me show you the main mount by activating it this main mount will be attached to the phone mount which i'll show you in the video let me show you how it rotates on this axis the whole assembly can rotate nearly 90 degree on the main axis this is how we can control the angle of the airflow on the phone's screen the phone screen will be nearly here and we can move the fan at any angle we like this is very simple design nothing much complicated you will need to print these three parts the two legs and this main mount using a 3d printer i printed them in pla but you can use abs also i'll post the links to the stl files for these three parts somewhere online i'll put the links in the video description in a few days let me show you the real parts now the main fan will be mounted on these supporters with two bolts and these two legs will be attached to the main mount also using the same bolts one on each side the main fan mount will be mounted on this phone mount using just one big screw or bolt whichever you have available that can fit the hole on the phone mount and there it is your own phone cooler fully adjustable let me know if you like it subscribe to my channel like this video and feel free to ask any questions in the comments thank you Thank you.